The UC Riverside Cross Country Teams hosted the 34th annual UCR Invitational on Saturday morning, welcoming over 1,000 runners for four different races. The Highlanders women's team got things started first with their 6K Invitational race, and they pulled through for a third place overall finish out of 23 teams. Utah Valley won the race, while UC Santa Barbara came in second. Raquel Heflin placed second individually to lead UCR, finishing eight seconds behind the winner, UCSB's Daniela Moreno. Faith McCaw was UCR's second overall finisher, and she placed seventh, while Wesley Totten came in 30th, Brianna Simmons clocked in at 45th, Marianne Holiday was 47th, and Elizabeth Guzman finished 100th. Um, this was a great race to give us all confidence, so um, I'm happy that we, we can use this and move forward because this just shows us where we need to be, what we need to do for conference. So this was just a great race. Even if it wasn't the absolute best, it was good just to, for a start uh, of the season. So it tells us a lot and it gives us a lot of confidence. So everyone should be very excited, and I am too. It's really exciting to see, even though um, this isn't a PR for me. I was super close to my PR, so this just shows that I, I'm at where I ended last year and that there's more improvement. So that just makes me excited for NCAA, um, NCAA Nationals, and we're just ready. Well, we kind of surprised ourselves. Uh, we lost one of our top runners this week to unfortunate uh, uh, injury, and so uh, we, the girls stepped up and uh, did really well. On the men's side, UC Riverside finished fourth overall out of 29 teams in the 8K Invitational race. Minnesota won the team event with three runners in the top 10, also the Utah came in second, and UCSB was third. All three of those teams are regionally ranked, as the Highlanders beat out two additionally regionally ranked teams with their fourth place finish. Seth Totten was UCR's top finisher, placing fourth individually in a PR time, while Cody Jordan also ran a personal best to finish seventh overall. Ben Heck was the Highlanders' third finisher, coming in 27th overall, while Nick Beechin was 58th, and Aaron Wynn, 63rd. Uh, we're here with uh, UC Riverside's new cross-country sensation, Cody Jordan, who had a cracker of a day. How'd you feel today, mate? Felt great. All right, simple, and uh, what did you feel about the heat? How'd that, how'd that affect you today? It's nice and hot. Yeah, it was a bit toasty, but uh, let's not forget about the other sensation over here, our front runner, Seth Totten. Had a great day of PR and uh, closed well. Tried to get him there at the end, but uh, he held on. Yeah, he didn't run fast enough to get the microphone, so maybe next time, mate. Well, we uh, got our first, our second race of the season off at home. Uh, obviously, it's a great invitation. We got a lot of great schools here. Minnesota flew out. Uh, Utah Valley's ranked. Southern Utah. Uh, so on a team side, probably not our best day, but we had some great individual performances I'd like to talk about. Uh, Seth, Seth uh, Totten was our first guy, he was fourth overall, ran a lifetime best, 24-10 in the heat in this course, really, really great job. And then followed closely behind was uh, Cody Jordan, who was, uh, kind of broke through this summer, ran a 359 mile, and he feels like he's a new guy, and came out and ran a lifetime best, ran 24-18, uh, it was about a 45 second PR, so we were feeling really good about the top two guys. Go Highlanders, we'll see you at uh, Stanford Invitational.